Hey guys, welcome back. So first things first, we're gonna talk about why on earth you will put four transit seats on a Sprinter van. And the reason for this is because four transit seats have a narrow option for the seats, which allows you to have a small little hallway from the front of the van to the back of the van. And if you choose the three-seater bench seat from Sprinter, you're gonna have a pretty significant uh, pinch point between the side door and the seats. That is something that we did not want to deal with. We wanted to easily walk towards the back of the van. So that is the reason why we chose the four transit seats. So let's get started with this video. And thanks again for all the new followers that we're getting on our new channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, so the one thing that I noticed here with the um, transit seats on a Sprinter is that the floor ribs are not the same as the transit. So as you can see on this one, we're on a high rib and this one were low. So in order to overcome that, did a lot of research and this is what people recommend doing is put in flat bar. This is one inch and all these ridges are different. So this is for that one is the same as this one here. It's one inch, uh, one eighth thick and then another one eighth thick and this one is inch and a half that makes it flat so you can mount on top of that right here and drill through this and you're basically sandwiching um, this piece and not crushing the metal when you go put the grade 8 bolts so yeah so that's what I uh, was recommended so I'm using I am using the stock transit brackets I am gonna cut them a little bit because these are too long there's all kinds of sizes some of them are like basically from here to here and that's it so that's I'm gonna basically recreate that Since we cut the bracket, we're going to have to redrill the first hole for the seat bracket. And the one thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that all the holes are the same in all four brackets. I uh, sprayed a little rosoleum so to avoid rust anything that you cut you want to avoid that and I am most likely going to put this bracket under here weld it probably back in so I'm going to have to spray paint it again okay so I have the first two brackets cut and I'm ready to start figuring out how to drill the holes the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that they're not going to be on anything. I did look underneath already. I don't think they are, but uh, I'm going to take a punch and put some puncture holes on it uh, without going through the whole metal. That way I know where they are and then before I drill, before I actually make a hole, I know that it's actually going to work. It's a little hard to see on the other carriage, but there's a little bump there, so that's pretty much what you want. Um, then I know that it's pretty clear. So with the transit seats, it's gonna come out on this side of the fuel tank, and then under the fuel tank, it's gonna be like right there. That one actually went through, but it's pretty easy access behind that. I think I can get my hand through there and get that, figure it out, but it's not, it's not bad at all. So I don't even have to drop the fuel tank. Okay, the big thing is you can't put a whole lot of pressure because you don't want to make anything underneath of it. So very slow. Just like that. Start with a smaller hole first. For the holes that you can't see, put a zip tie, and 
that's going to really help you see where the holes are just by feel. Underneath, uh, in the middle especially, this side here is very clear, so you don't need to, but in the middle, you definitely need to uh, be able to feel it rather than see them. All right. So there we have the first zip tie. And you should be able to feel the other ones. There's one there, and there's one there. That is perfect. It does not get any better than that. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you how to secure the seats from under the van. Uh, I got some quarter inch steel. This is two inches wide. Uh, it's pretty heavy duty. There's no way you can even bend this. Um, so basically, I'm gonna put this, sandwich the floor of the van, and then um, the four transit bracket is gonna go on top of that. So that is very, very strong. Um, I got a bunch of grade 8 bolts here. By the way, if you buy the whole box at Ace Hardware, it's going to be cheaper and you can find all of them. Next, you're going to cut your quarter inch flat bar and the size of this is really going to depend on where you choose to put your seats. I got the quarter inch flat bar cut and painted. I used some of this uh, POR15 to paint the brackets to prevent rust. And I also painted the holes that I drill for the bolts on the floor of the van. And I have the four transit seat brackets completely ready to go, welded, cut, and painted, fully prepped to prevent rust. I also painted the aluminum filler bars. These go on either a high rib or a low rib to fill the space to make the floor flat. So yesterday, I didn't want to bore you guys to death and record a bunch of nonsense, but uh, I was able to make all the brackets um, and I painted them with uh, that POR15 to uh, prevent rust. And um, I got them all done. They're all nice and dry now. So uh, here I'm going to show you. Um, basically, I just label each one because they're all different and also the way the holes are, uh, according to the brackets, might be a little bit different. So um, this is a filler that I'm using for the rib when um, there's a gap in between because otherwise you will put this and you will just crush the floor and you don't want to do that with a quarter inch steel. So both of those go together on seat leg number one, which I'm saying that is the one closer to the driver's side. Um, and then number two gets a bracket on the bottom because it's low on the bottom but then the top needs a filler so i made this it's basically two pieces of aluminum together um, into a t that fills that rib pretty well so then moving over to here i have all the other ones seat number three um under the van filler same as the other one with a quarter inch steel and then it's just like the other one over there this is a filler piece here it's slightly over to the side because that's how the seats laid out better. Um, and then um, also the quarter inch seal under the van. So all the brackets are ready to go. There's a ton of work to get all this stuff figured out. So when I cut these brackets, they were that long, which was crazy long. Um, and I researched it and most of them come on the shorter version. So I don't know why the brackets I got uh, were bigger, but I know that you can cut them. So this part right here was at the beginning of that. And I didn't want this big gap because I would have had to put something in there. So I took this piece off of that and re-welded it on either side of this. That way there's support in the middle. I'm not crushing the uh, seat bracket onto the van. So with all of these, they're gonna be one, two, three, four, uh, grade 8 half an inch bolts per leg so like I said um, you know a lot of companies refuse to install the seats and uh, probably for a good reason liability uh, however you know I figure if I like over engineer this make it like crazy secure then we're good to go so that's pretty much what I chose to do uh, it's probably a little overkill and uh, you can probably get away with a little bit less but um, I'm not willing to take the risk so I just made it like crazy, crazy strong, so. All right, so um, this is the filler piece that goes like on the rib of the van. There's a gap in there, so that's why this is needed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, glue and sealant 
this is specially made for cars. I'm gonna put this in here and then try to sandwich that in between the floor of the van and the bracket. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the next piece. So there is no gap whatsoever in between here. I'm gonna put a bead the whole way around and it uh, should stay pretty nice and dry. So that's the whole purpose of that. Then when I bolt it in, it's probably all gonna come out, which is good, that's what we want. So, see how that goes. Okay, so I got the first one in, and I'm gonna show you here what it should look like. It's a little messy, but you can see it right there. So, the filler is inside of that. That's the quarter inch steel with the two grade eight bolts. That This is half of it. So the other part of the one leg is over there not done yet so basically when you tighten up the bolts all the silicone is gonna come off the side so then you just run your finger through it make sure you wear gloves this stuff is nasty but anyway so like for example there that would have been a huge gap but now it's not because it has silicone so there's not gonna be any water getting in there at all and then the last step that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like spray this with some bed liner or undercarriage paint or something like that so it's going pretty well I'm pretty happy with the results so far all right, so I want to show you what I meant by the spacer real quick. So here's my T spacer that fits in that gap. And unfortunately with the seat, the way is that single seater, it has to be towards the end, not quite in the middle, but that is not a problem because I was able to drill through this spacer pretty well. So then you take your bracket in there. It looks pretty good. The first piece that I use is part of the stock mounting hardware. This is more of a square nut. I think like that's probably good in case it decides to turn. It's going to run into the sides. And then I'm putting a grade 8 washer in there and then the bolt. So fairly simple, do the same thing for all of them. All right, I'm gonna show you the job complete. It's a little messy because of my fingerprints. As you can see here, there are the grade eight bolts. That's only one leg. Uh, I was lucky that in my case ended up on this side of that frame. Because Mercedes says that you should not be drilling through your frame, just so you guys know. But um, anyway, so quarter inch seal, the sandwich filler piece in there on this side because there's a gap. And then if you go on the other side of the fuel tank, I also got pretty lucky. It's a little hard to reach in there, but I was able to reach in there. And then the toughest one was through this hole in there. But again, I can still reach through in here way behind it this is the third leg here and then the fourth is in there behind the seat shield which you can bend it's pretty easy to do it but uh, the next step is once this dries up completely I'm gonna spray some uh, truck liner in here and then maybe color match it I don't know I don't know if I'll spend the money on that it's kind of silly it's under the van but so I'll show you what the seats look like And here they are. I think that turned out awesome. And you can you can remove the seats fairly easy here. You just pop these and they come out. That's one thing that is nice about this transit seats, and especially doing the three, because you can just pop this one out and then you still have the other two. So but I think that turned out perfect. Especially the these specific seats instead of the sprinter seats because as you can see here I have a pretty massive hallway <laughs> massive for a camper van but um i'm comfortable with what i did comfortable enough to put my kits in it i think is uh, overly built um but you know there's a reason why companies don't want to um, install it because of liability so do your research and do it at your own risk and uh i'm just showing you how i did it that doesn't mean that it's an expert opinion. So thank you for uh, watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.